And so those three things, the accountability, the boundaries, and the, and the consistency are, the, are, are very important. And for me, those are the pillars to a purposeful year. And you'll see that in, in, the, uh, in, in the, uh, the papers, the, the, uh, the little packets that I passed out before this, um, that, that uh, I, I believe that, that there's you know, three pillars that can help you conquer these goals. And I call it the ABCs, right? The ABCs of a purposeful year. And the first one is accountability. We have to learn to, to be accountable to ourselves, right? And so what we have to do is that we, we, ha we have to set these goals, understanding what happens if we don't conquer them, and understanding what we have to do to then switch up and make it happen, right? But we have to be accountable. And so there's, there's several ways that you can hold yourself accountable. One of the ways that you can hold yourself accountable is by getting an accountability partner, right? Get someone that you can talk to, get, whether it's a friend, whether it's your, 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 your partner at home, your wife, your husband, whatever it is. Find somebody that you can talk to about these goals that you're setting and, and say, hey, look, listen, I'm gonna, this is what I want to do this year. I want to do X, Y, and Z. Hold me accountable. Like, if you see me kind of slipping, please hold me accountable. Let me know, right? Because I need that help because we need that. The, what, what people see from the outside in you, sometimes you don't see. And so we need that person in the outside to kind of like help us get out of ourselves and see us from the outside in. And, and, and often we might see it as criticism or we might see it as, as hating, but it's not. It's just that we can't see things from the outside in and we need someone to kind of say, you know what, I see it. You know, so either, either somebody's going to help you get you out of you to look at yourself from the outside in or somebody's going to see you from the outside in and say, look, listen, this is what I see. Like you said that, 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 that you were going to sell that many more houses, but you haven't been out there hustling. You just haven't. I'm sorry, honey. You just haven't. You've been kind of here gaming. I don't know, whatever, right? And 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 so and so the the, the first thing that we can do is that we can find an, an accountability partner. That's going to help you, again, keep yourself accountable. Because with, with, without without that, if you if you're going to just count on yourself, then it's too easy for you, for you to just let it go. Because if no one if no one else knows, then you're good to go, right? And so if I if I set a goal this year of speaking at 35 events, right? But I don't tell anybody. Now, Gina, she's my niece on the camera. She goes to almost all my events. But let's say if I don't, if I don't tell her that I'm going to be doing 35 events, and let's say we get to half, to like, I don't know, the, the June, and I've only done three events, it's looking like I'm not going to reach that number that I wanted to reach. If she doesn't know, then she's not going to say, hey, Uncle Eddie, you said that you were going to you know, do that thing. She's not going to say anything. If, if only I know, then, then I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm not even going to say anything. No, nobody knows. And, 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 and so I'm going to just leave it. And that's what happens when we set these, these goals is that we think about these things, but we don't talk about them with somebody that we trust so that they can help us keep us, uh, keep us accountable. And then what happens is that we then end up doing the same thing year after year after year. Every year we have these new ideas, we have these new goals, but they never get accomplished because we don't tell anybody and we don't hold ourselves accountable. And so, and so if, if you can't find uh, or if you don't have that person in your life that can help you, then there's coaches that can help you, right? that you could talk to them and they could help you help keep you accountable. And that may even work out better for you because if it's somebody that you don't know, then that kind of helps you a little bit because if it's somebody that you know, then you, you do feel a bit of shame, a bit of, of being embarrassed, right, because of that person. And so perhaps um, getting somebody that, that, um, that you don't know kind of helps us kind of keep us, keep us um, accountable. Um, and and just, just always make sure that you're asking for the feedback. Like, it, 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 there's, just, there's one thing to have the accountability partner, but it's a whole other thing to not use them, right? So if they're there, then we have, to, we have to listen to them. We have to trust them. We have to know that what they're telling us is something that we want to hear. And so it, it definitely has to be somebody who, you, who, who, who is close to you and who you trust that's going to tell you the truth. And again, those things are going to bother us sometimes, but we have to do it because they're the ones who are going to tell us the things that we have to hear, right? And so that was, that was, that's, that's the first part. That's the A. That's the accountability. Now, the, the, the second thing that we have to think about when we're setting these goals is boundaries, right? And so we have to learn that we have to set boundaries in our lives in order to conquer whatever that goal is. And so every goal is different, and every goal is, is going gonna, is gonna to pretty much ask you to set a different kind of boundary for whatever it is. And so we have to start to learn those, those, to, to set those boundaries because those boundaries are going to keep us in line to where we're going, depending on whatever that goal is. Right? And, so, and so some of the things that we have to think about when setting these boundaries is that we have to set these boundaries early. Right? And so if, you, if you're setting goals in January, then in January we have to set those boundaries and we, and we have to take action on, on, those, on those boundaries now. Right? So right away, don't wait till later on. If, 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 you have, um, if your boundaries are, you know what, I, I'm not going you know, to kind of hang out with these people be, because they kind of get me off track a little bit, then start doing that now. Don't say, well, you know what, uh, eh, I'm going to hang out with them in January and maybe in February I'll stop. No, no, you have to do it now. You have to make the decision now that this is the boundary that you're going to have for that particular goal. 
because again, these boundaries are, are going to keep you focused. So uh, the, the the first thing to think about is I want to set them early, right? I want I want I want to set them early. But the second thing that we want to think about is that I want to make sure that that they're smaller boundaries, right? Don't don't kind of just go cold turkey on something and just and just think that it's just going to happen because it's not. The bigger the boundary, the harder it's going to be to kind of keep, right? So set smaller boundaries and let that kind of work to help you conquer these goals. If you, if we, we, sometimes we get a little overzealous and we put too much on ourselves. Well, I'm, I, I'm going to do this and, and the boundaries are going to be that and, and it's, it's way too much. And then what happens is if the boundary is too much, it's going to overwhelm you and then you're going to just stop. And then you become part, of, the, part of, the, the, uh, of that percentage of people that by the end of January, they've already quit. Today, January 20th. Most people have already, whatever they said they were going to do in December, whatever they were talking about on Facebook, yo, I'm going to, uh, you know what, the gym, all that. Well, most of the people, it, it, it's, it's done. Like, it, it, it's a wrap. It's done. I, I Listen, I go to the gym. Every, I'm in the gym every morning at 4 in the morning. Most people are not about that life. They, they, that's just the truth. And so the, the new people in the gym, they, they come in at 6. That's like, that's like a, I don't know if that's like a, something they all agreed upon, but the new people in the gym come in at, they, 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 they come in at 6. And I know because I'm like, oh, I got to get out of here, right? So I'm going to get my thing, and I, I got to get out of here because, you know, they got new people coming in, and they think about the equipment. They don't know what they're doing. And, and, and this, is not, this is not, I'm not shaming them. It's just that they're, they're coming in. But again, they're not setting those boundaries that they have to set. And, 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 and they're, they're not holding themselves accountable with an accountability partner, a.k.a. a fitness trainer, right? And so you're saying to yourself, oh, I'm going to go lose this weight or I'm going to go gain this weight or whatever you want to do. But you're not taking the steps to make that happen. You're just saying, well, I'm going to go get that gym membership because it's super cheap right now. I plan to fitness for a dollar or whatever it is, right? And it's going to happen. But it's not going to happen because you don't have the, the, the accountability partner that's going to help hold you, hold you accountable. And then you come to the gym and then you don't know what you're doing. And again, it's not shaming. It's that you don't know what you're doing because you didn't set the right parameters that you needed to be able to get to conquer those goals, right? And so what happens is <clears throat> in the beginning of the year, I was seeing them. I'm already not seeing them. I, and, and I know. I go I'm there every day. I know like the regulars, I know the people who are new, and I know that they're not coming anymore, right? And so most people are not doing it, and a lot of it is coming from that. It's coming from the fact that you don't have that partner to hold you accountable, and you also don't have those boundaries set that are going to help you get there. You know what? I want to get. I want to start getting up at 5 in the morning so I can be in the gym by 6, right, so I can work out. But what do I have to do now? Well, that means that I may not be able to watch, you know, wrestling until 11, um, you know, I love wrestling. I love raw, but I can't watch it until 11 because now I gotta, I'm going to go to bed late and I can't wake up that early. So I'm going to have to cut that out. I'm going to have to jump on Hulu and watch wrestling the next day, pre-recorded, and it's going to suck because I'm going to be on Instagram on Monday or, and, and everybody's going to be posting about it. So now I know everything that happened. And, and, and so it's not going to be new to me. But guess what? That's the boundary you set. My boundary is I'm not going to go to bed any later than 930. And then you have to stick to it, Right. And, but I also talked about setting small boundaries. So maybe, maybe that might not be the boundary you wanna, that you want to set. Maybe you don't want to miss wrestling. I don't know, right? But the idea here is that, again, these boundaries are going to help you get there. And the fact that it's January 20th and most people already quit on whatever that goal was just means that they're, that, that, that they're not doing the things that they have to do, like the homework that is going to help them kind of conquer these goals. And so uh, uh, we did A and we did B, right? Accountability and, we, and then we did um, boundaries. C is consistency. You know, we have to be consistent in the things that we're doing. So again, going back to the A and the B, we have to be consistent with those things, right? We have to be, we have to be consistently accountable to ourselves. That means that we're accountable to ourselves every day. And, and it sounds like, um, really, Eddie, every day? Yes, every day we need to wake up and we need to tell ourselves or ask ourselves, like, am I about this life? Am I, do I want to go to the gym at 6 in the morning? Do I still want to do this? Do I really want to get those abs? Do I really want to lose that weight? Do I really want to gain that weight? Whatever it is, we have to wake up every day and we have to look at, look at ourselves in the mirror or however we do it and we have to say, do I want to do this? And be consistent with it every day. That way, it starts to move in the right direction. And so we have to be consistent with that accountability and then we have to be also consistent with the, with the, um, with the boundaries we set. If I, if I set those boundaries that I want to go to bed early on Mondays, then I got to go to bed early every Monday. It can't be like, well, I don't know, because this Monday is the Monday before the Royal Rumble. It's going to be crazy. Um, so I, I got I to gotta stay on. No, because, because not, not, now that's going to, that, that may mess up your Tuesday morning, and then that might be it. Like, it might be over, because now on Tuesday morning, you won't go to the gym, right? But Jasmine went to the gym, and I'm seeing her every, every morning there, and on Tuesday, I didn't go, but Jasmine was there. And then now Jasmine is hitting, is hitting me up, like, yo, what happened? You missed, and I'm embarrassed. Because, you know, whatever. And then next thing you know, on Wednesday, I don't want to show my face. And then it's over. 
like January is over. You didn't go back to the gym because you were embarrassed because you didn't go that one day, and now you feel bad because now Jasmine is posting a picture because she, you know, she's doing her thing, and and you're not doing your thing, and now and now now you're embarrassed, and then you don't go back, right? Again, you have to be consistent. So we have to we have to be consistent, and the best way to be consistent is by making sure that these boundaries are um are what do you call it are are um are smaller, like 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 not so extensive on, on ourselves, right? And as the years go by, we, if we, make, we can make the boundaries stronger. Or as, the, as the, uh, that particular year goes by, you can make the boundaries stronger, right? And, and then that'll help you. But you start small and be consistent with it, and that's going to help you um, get to where you want to get to. Um, so so if, if you have your accountability partner, you have to make sure that, that, you're, that you're looking back every week and every month and seeing where you're at. So whatever that goal is, if you have a goal to get more customers to come into your business, then we have to look at it every week. What do you do different this week? Is it working for you? Well, it is working, yeah, because I got four more customers. Are they coming back or not? I don't know, but you got four more this week, and then you have to keep looking at it, right, and be consistent with that so that you can make sure that you stay consistent. And so we have to make sure that every week and every month of that new year, we're looking to see where we're at in terms of that goal that we had. We have to, because if we're not doing that, then we're not being accountable. Right, and so we have to be accountable to ourselves. So we, we have to make sure that we are consistent with that, and and then we have to make sure that um that along the way <clears throat> we're we're celebrating ourselves, right? And I'm saying that because I, I think that too often it, it, you know we, we tend to think that in order for us to celebrate ourselves, it needs to be something major, it needs to be something big. I have to be able to close the deal on on a three million dollar mansion and and Greenwich in order to celebrate. No, no, no. I want you to celebrate every 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 closure. I want to celebrate all of them. You know whether whether you whether you help a client rent an apartment or you bought a, or you got or you help someone buy or sell a million dollar mansion. We need to celebrate all of them because that consistency of celebrating is it, going to help keep us motivated, help keep us moving forward, right? And so be consistent with again with with, with being accountable to ourselves, but also be, be be consistent with celebrating yourself. It's important. You matter. Like I said in the beginning of the talk, you have to be selfish. Before we can be selfless, be selfish. Celebrate all those wins. This year, I, I started back up um, two of the podcasts that I was doing five years ago. So I started in January. It's a little nervous, but I was like, we're going to do this. So I started doing the podcast again. Um, they're virtual. It's, it's good. I'm thinking about five, six years ago. I was averaging 1,500 um, views on Facebook per episode. It was a beautiful thing. It was me and Gina, remember? Gina, Gina was a lot younger. We were doing it. We didn't even have cameras. We had my phone. And uh, we didn't have no microphone, and, and, we, and Gina was there looking at the, you know, lo looking at, 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 the, at the comments as they're coming up, and she's helping me, and it's a beautiful thing. And people are saying, we can't hear you. And I'm like, I don't have a mic. You know, just do what you have to do, whatever, right? And I'm doing my thing. But we're averaging 1,500 views, and it's a beautiful thing. Fast forward six years, I got the studio at home. I got the good camera. I got the good mic. I'm going in. I'm doing my thing. I do my first interview, and it gets about 500 views. So now I'm like, do I want to celebrate this or not? Like, I'm a little bit embarrassed because I'm like, I used to do 1,500. With the phone, with the iPhone, uh, Gina holding it. She's my tripod. She's holding the, the, the iPhone. Now, I got, I got the, the official, you know, uh, um, um, uh, the stuff in the room, the cameras and the lighting, and I got everything going, but I only got four, 500 views on that particular video. But I said I have to celebrate it. We, we have to celebrate it because, because if we don't, they, they, we get ourselves down, and we have to be consistent with it. If I'm going to be consistent and throw it in your face when I got 1,000 views, then I'm going to throw it in your face when I got 200 too. You're going to get all of it, right? And so we have to be consistent. Fast forward two weeks, I did an interview on Thursday that's it's around 1,200 views at the moment. So, you know, we're, we're, we're looking good. But, again, it's that consistency. Had I not stayed consistent, had I kind of just give up on that first interview, then the interview that I did on Thursday doesn't happen. And I never get to feel that feeling that I had five years ago when you get all those views. Not so much for the views, but because of the impact, right? When you see all those all the people looking, you know that you're impacting. And, and, and that's what we want to do. We want to be able to impact. And so we want to we be able to... Um, to stay consistent. So guys, as you, again, as you think about, you know, and, and, and I just want to kind of back up a little bit. I'm not sure where you are with your goals for this year, but we, we can hit the restart button right now. Like, like, let's not wait till Monday. Let's not wait till February 1st. Let's not wait till January 1st. If, you, if you're sitting here right now, I'm getting goosebumps just saying that. If, like, if you're sitting here right now and you're thinking to yourself, well, Eddie, I, know, I jacked up already. Well, let's hit the reset button now and let's start, um, uh, let, let, let's start fresh right now, right this moment. And start with those goals, with this information that I'm giving you, because I, I, I think that it's, it's okay. We all slip up, but the problem that we have is that we always have to wait for an exact day or an exact number. It needs to be the first of the month. It has to be a Monday. It has to be the first of the year, but it doesn't have to be. 
Like even even the resolutions that you set in January, you could have set them in December. You could have set them in November. You could have set them anytime. But we have this thing where we have to wait. Like it has to be like on our birthday. On our birthday, on my birthday, I'm gonna start going to the gym. Or or it has to be like oh, on my anniversary, I'm gonna start being nice to my wife again. No, no, what is start doing it now? Like as soon as you think about it, just do it right then and there. So let's hit the re let, let's, let's hit the reset button. Even if you're still you know, going good on your resolution, let's hit the reset button so that so that we can see. If some of the information you're gonna get today is gonna to actually help you with that, because I I I think that um that uh that you know we're 20 days in, but I think that if we start fresh from right now, I think that that we um we should be able to to be good going forward.